What's up guys? So I just wanted to do a little uh, update on the salon. You know, I bought it in December of last year. Uh, and, you know, it was really slow at first. Uh, it was kind of disheartening. I had to pay a couple months rent out of pocket because it wasn't paying for itself. Um, but seems like we've got it turned around now. Um, I'm going to show you some slides here real quick of... 2018 or 2019 revenue for the salon 2020 revenue for the salon um and then what we've done so far in 2021 and what we did in the month of april alone so here's those slides in that order i hope So, yeah, uh, we are almost at last year's revenue for the entirety of last year, uh, this year alone. And this was as of May the 7th, I think. I forget the dates on there. So we're probably there now for sure, um, which is fantastic. Uh, you know, that place needed a lot of help. The, the employees that were in there prior to us taking over were just there were they weren't with it they weren't held accountable uh there was you know it needed a lot of cleaning up there's a lot of ceiling lights out so we've been you know a lot of pillows in the beds were cracked and way too old needed replaced a long time ago so you know at first again scary as fuck not making money paying around on my pocket as soon as we started making some money like that's you know i've of course, I did the light bulbs first and foremost out of my pocket. Uh, we put all LED bulbs uh, in the in the ceiling lights uh, to help with presentation, cleanup, and things like that. Um, but as as you know, it's generated revenue and made money. Um, you know, we've been changing acrylics, uh, which is the the part that you lay on um, the glass looking shit. Uh, changing that, you know, uh, we bought all new pillows. Um, you know, we keep air fresheners on deck for days, etc. Just little creature comforts. And that's the thing in a business like this. Um, you know, my wife and I met in a shopping mall. I was selling shoes. She was selling jewelry. We come from a, a customer service retail sales environment. That's essentially what this is. We're selling service. We're selling products too. Um, we have products, uh, you know, uh, tanning lotions and things like that. Uh, so we kind of knew the gist of how that worked. We didn't know shit about tanning. She knew a little bit. Um, I, I didn't know shit about tanning at all. Uh, but we figured we could learn that as we go. Um, and you know, that's what it is. There's other tanning salons around here. Uh, all we can offer is, you know, cleanliness and, uh, a customer service experience that the other ones can't. Um, and now everybody can offer cleanliness. I hear everybody doesn't, um, but, you know, that's something that everybody can offer. Uh, everybody, you know, you can only buy the nicest, newest, fanciest beds, which we don't have. Um, uh, but at the end of the day, everybody has access to the same beds, um, same products, et cetera, et cetera. You know, people can price gouge or price cut the products as they see fit, um, but, we, we really try to sell customer service and my wife is amazing in there. We've really made it feel like a nice family environment, um, welcoming, uh, things like that. And it's really starting to pay off. So, and now just that that's revenue. That's obviously a, a flex. Uh, that's not profit. I didn't make $16,000 in the month of April. That would be nice, but I didn't, um, you know, you got rent, um, the electric bill, of course, out of tanning salon, it gets hot as balls in there. We've got uh, a central heat and AC, and then we've got two like window units uh, placed strategically in there, along with the beds themselves. Uh, so my electric bill, like this month, was higher than my rent, and probably will be all through the summer. It goes down in the winter. Um, but rent, electric, uh, and payroll, those are like the three 
biggest expenses. Um, of course, I've got insurance, which I pay that one time for a whole year's worth of coverage. Um, you know, your water bill. Uh, then, of course, you know, your your basic necessity cleaning supplies, uh, toilet paper, stuff like that, laundry soap. Uh, laundry soap's a big one. We do multiple loads of laundry a day, uh, all, you know, all the towels and stuff. Uh, the sanitizer for the beds, things like that. And reordering products uh, to sell again. So, you know, 16 grand in revenue, it sounds nice on paper. Um, and don't get me wrong, we made money in the month of April for sure. Um, it's not 16000 And it's also something where it kind of season kind of starts in February. It kicks off a little bit in February, but March it really pops off. Um, and then best I can understand it, it kind of goes on through August and then starts to taper off in September. So that, that sort of March, April, May, June, July, August, you really want to hit it hard. Um, you know, order what needs ordering, replace what needs replacing, uh, and then make enough to kind of carry you through the winter months. Um, and I assume, you know, this winter season, we're going to be a lot busier than last winter season. Um, just because it's ours now, you know, people know it's ours. Um, we've, you know, gotten a lot of old guests who had left, have come back when they found out that there was new owners and they love my wife and things like that. So I, I think, you know, this, we bought it during the off season and it was really fucking off season. Uh, but I think this, this off season is going to be a lot more steady and, if if the store can support itself through the off season without having to dip into what we made during the season, uh, that that's kind of my goal and would be absolutely fantastic. But that's what's happening with the salon. Uh, obviously, I'm at my regular job right now, uh, so that's not my only source of income. My wife is on payroll there, so it is her primary source of income. Um, I've I've just been putting everything back into it. I do have my son, my six-year-old, on payroll. Uh, fun fact, if you own a business and you have kids that are under 14, you can pay them $12,000 a year, and it's completely tax-free. Uh, there's no payroll tax, no Social Security, nothing. No it, straight cash, homie. So get on that if you have that. Um, and I set that money aside. But I, I've not paid myself nothing yet. I've just been reinvesting back into the salon. Um so, yeah, that, working here, six-year-old, YouTube's not a priority. Um, it's basically just a training vlog for me now at this point, and every now and then talk some shit for fun. Peace!